Hello, my name is Chuck Levine. My company name is Acme Miami, and I'm here today to introduce you to our number 9460 Dryer Jet. The Dryer Jet is a booster fan for a long range closed dryer discharge line. And this one is particularly unique in that the motor is completely removed from the airstream. You can install it right next to the dryer without a secondary lint screen and you'll never have an issue with anything overheating. Now, the way the fan is set up, and this is by design, as you can see here, there, the motor is completely out of the airstream. You see an axial fan blade that actually does the air movement, and then a steel wall with a gasket to protect the motor. The motor sits back here. There's 48 air holes just to ventilate the motor and a grill on the bottom to allow for the airflow to move. This is just to cool the motor. Now, when the fan is installed, whether it's on the floor behind the dryer or further away up in an attic or something, it can stand on the rubber feet so there's no mounting to be done. The rubber feet are offset so it will not dance around, will not move around, it'll stay where it is. Each unit comes with an air pressure sensing switch mounted on the unit the switch and fan are wired together in the junction box which sits right here and the switch is easily field adjustable. The adjustment is right under a plate and you don't even need to remove the screws, just loosen them. The terminal block shows you exactly how it's wired and this set screw here is how you adjust it. Very simple, very easy and there is no on-site electrical. All you need to do is put a plug in the wall. Should you be installing in the laundry room right behind the dryer, you usually have an outlet in place because the washer runs on 110 volts, as does the fan. Very often, there's an open receptacle, so there's nothing to worry about that way. To show you how it works, this unit is set up with some stringers so you can see the airflow. The dryer, is say over here and you run dryer pipe, or four inch pipe from the dryer to the inlet on top of the fan. Use either hard smooth pipe or hard flexible pipe, both of which Marcone sells, both of which are easily available. Another piece of the same stuff from the discharge arm on the side to the line. When the dryer starts, which is the same as me blowing on it, it will kick on and continue running. When the dryer shuts off, the switch will sense an opposite change in the dryer duct and turn the unit off, just by releasing this. As you look at the way the unit works, there is no place for lint to collect. There's no motor, there's no motor mount, there's no blower wheel, there's no blower wheel housing. All you have is the axial fan blade, which gives you plenty of force to keep the lint suspended in the airstream. The Army Corps of Engineers and the new UL standard for dryer boosters, if it comes to pass, specifies a minimum of 1,200 feet per minute of air velocity and a maximum of 2,200. We never get to 2,200, so we're safe that way. 1,200 feet per minute, we have tested it at 100 effective feet. Handle almost any house. That includes bends and straight pipe. Anyway, as you need it, uh, on our website at www.acmemiami.com, there's all sorts of information in downloadable form for yourself and for your customers. The instruction pages, our CSA safety certification, dimensional drawing, and a detailed lint screen statement about why you do not need a secondary lint screen if you're close to the dryer. Should there be any questions at any time, 800-654-2154 and ask for me, my name is Chuck. After hours, the company phone, that line is forwarded to my cell phone, so nobody's ever going to be completely stuck without technical support. Thank you.